Meanwhile, Trump is taking direct aim at the American Jewish community, members of the American Jewish community who may vote for Democrats coming up. Listen to what Trump said. Listen to this. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats uh, hates their religion. They hate everything about Israel, and they should be ashamed of themselves because Israel will be destroyed. These remarks come uh, after uh, Trump's former White House chief of staff, John Kelly, recently disclosed that Trump told him in the White House that he thought Hitler, quote, did some good things. Hitler, quote, did some good things. Joining us now is the CEO of the American Jewish Committee, Ted Deutsch. He's also a former Democratic congressman from Florida. Ted, thanks very much for joining us. Let me get your quick reaction, first of all, to these latest Trump comments. Look, at this moment when the Jewish community feels so very much at risk, it is it is dangerous and it's divisive uh, to bring the Jewish community into a debate in a way that tells them what they believe, how they behave as Jews, how they feel about Israel. This is a, a moment, again, where in every part of the country and all around the world, the Jewish community is really facing dramatically increasing anti-Semitism and where Israel is fighting for its survival. Uh, as this political season moves forward, I hope that both President Trump and President Biden and every political candidate running for office will understand that the Jewish community uh, should not be used in some political purpose. And that, in fact, Wolf, the last thing I'll say here is when you suggest that the Jewish people only have feel a certain way about Israel. There are so many, unfortunately, right now who are at the same time invoking dual loyalty uh, and uh, old anti-Semitic trope. This is what we're battling. So let's try to focus on the issues at hand. Let's try to think of ways to actually bring the Jewish community together. That's what that's what we do. That's the way we need to focus. And and political comments like this uh, make it increasingly more difficult. They're dangerous and we shouldn't hear them any further. Why aren't Republicans publicly and strongly condemning Trump's hateful comments? Uh, Wolf, I so proudly run a nonpartisan organization now. And in that role, um, I, I don't I don't guess what people are doing politically. I comment on the actual things that are that are happening. And what we're seeing happening is that on the far left, and on the far right in America and around the world, Jews are being put at risk. And we need to call that out wherever we see it, whatever party we're in. We have to call it out on on the left. Even Democrats need to do that. We need to call it on the right. Even Republicans need to do that. This is the in the best interest, not only of the Jewish community, but of the world. And Wolf, I just have to say that one of the most important things we can do here is to remember that this is taking place in the context of a war in Israel that so often the media forgets was started by Hamas when they slaughtered 1,200 people, when they used sexual violence as a tool of war, uh, when they continued on by taking hundreds of hostages, and when they still hold 134 hostages, including Americans, uh, now more than 160 days since they were taken into captivity. The president was right yesterday. Jake Sullivan talked about this. The Hamas has blood on their hands, including blood of Americans. And the best thing we can do is to rally behind our ally Israel as they seek to defeat Hamas, not only for the good of the Israeli people, but for the good of the entire region. Ridding the region of this terror threat will benefit everyone, including and especially the Palestinians who have been put at risk by Hamas's dangerous, vile, uh, anti-Jewish, anti-Israel actions. You make important points. So let me get back to what Trump said. He said American Jews uh, who vote for Democrats, and you're a former Democratic congressman, hate their religion and hate Israel. Uh, I want, I specifically, he's really attacking you and all the yeah. Democrats out there who are American Jews who will vote for Democrats. And, and what do you say to that? The Jewish community uh, has a range of opinions. I mean, Wolf, you know, you know the old phrase, two Jews, three opinions. We have lots of different opinions in politics. That's true as well. And we know heading into an election when people feel so passionately 
about the need to defend the Jewish community and about the need to ensure that Israel wins its war against Hamas and that the world understands what Israel is facing uh, and that the truth about Israel's delivery of now close to, to uh, 10,000 trucks of humanitarian aid is actually told and we don't let Hamas draw, drive the narrative coming out of what happens. At this moment, let's respect differences uh, we shouldn't have presidential candidates or candidates for any office telling the Jewish community what it thinks, how it should feel, let alone what it says, what their views say about them uh, and their view of their own religion and their view of Israel, which is so dear to the vast majority of the Jewish community. Yeah, I know you love Israel. I know you love your religion. And it's pretty outrageous what the former president of the United States, the current Republican presidential, uh, presumptive presidential candidate, is saying about the American Jewish community. Ted Deutsch, thanks very much for the important work you're doing at the American Jewish Committee. We appreciate your joining us. Thank you, Wolf. And